about to sing to all. A very merry about to sing to you. All about to sing is a thing that makes us fall into the truth. A very merry about to sing to all. A very merry about to sing to all. A very merry about to sing to all. <laughs> oh, that's how it goes at the beginning. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another installment of a very merry unboxing, and today I am unboxing Fallout Pops <laughs> for um, games of the Fallout series. But really quick, I just wanted to point out something. Look on the back of the boxes mm -hmm. and see what what the name for the power armor is on each box. Power armor, oh, Brotherhood of Steel, power armor, and then Brotherhood of Steel. So one of and them says power armor. It's called power armor, though. Well, yeah, because uh, that's what it is. It's but the armor that you get. Yeah, I don't know why they said Brotherhood of Steel. Probably because it's the Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of Steel version of the power armor. Uh, Alright, so, first, we're going to unbox the Hot Topic exclusive Glow in the Dark Vart Boy. Vart Boy. <clears throat> I like him because he's all green, like on the Pit Boy, like on my watch. Look, like, look like at my watch. This is my gear, my gear to watch to carry, and the boys got me, and look, it's the Pit Boy. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? 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 It's the Pit Boy. You guys got me the gear to watch for Father's Day for everyone's got the pit point. Alright, so here he is. He's, he's entirely green. Nice. Nice. So he's all green. Not not a whole lot of detail because he's all green. Yeah. But they have a lot more detail for the actual vault boy. But check him out. So he glows in the dark now. I have noticed that the glow in the dark stuff. Oh, he's got 101 on his back. The glow in the dark stuff doesn't tend to usually glow in the dark really, really good, but uh, this one looks like it might. Kind of cool. But I like the, the color of the green for him. Like I said, it matches the green on the Pip Boy and the green on my watch. I've nope. noticed more of the glow in the dark stuff needs a black light. Oh, yeah, huh. And here's the um, power armor. Oh, so this is the this is the stuff you go around and you can either find full armor sets in the game or you can find pieces here and there and, and then you can upgrade. You have to use these fusion core things. They go the back. Uh it looks like the fusion cores will go in there, yeah. Yeah, and mine whenever I'm walking around, like when I'm very far away from home, my mine always Runs out of battery. Yeah. No, it he's... always runs out of battery when I have a lot of stuff on me, so I can't quick travel. No, he's got a big uh, a gun on the front. Um, I'm sure it's one that we've used in the past, like a, a sonic gun or a rail gun or something. Um, but then he's got his gas mask on to help breathe in the uh, irradiated environment. It looks like he's got a, a scope up here and a light on the other side. So... It's cool looking. I like the way that this one looks with the hoses and good amount of detail in the armor itself. Nice! <laughs> and so what else, Joshua? We got... We have the boss that it took me almost a day to beat. In Fallout 4, we have Deathclaw. Yeah, but then... Um, didn't then we... I, I found out a strategy because I went over to him and he spawned in. He jumped out of the sewers. And then I ran away, and all the <laughs> I, don't, I ran away from him literally. I was like, I don't want to fight you. And then all the um, what are they called? The um, all the mobs, ra all the raiders just yeah. started attacking him. And when I got, I was looking around to see where he was, so I would be prepared for when he comes for me. And he was just standing there with one raider shooting him. He was just like. Yeah. And he, then and then he killed the raider and turned at me and I was like, ah, I started running away and then I saw that he was like like very low health. Yeah, because the raiders um, all jumped him and the, they took down his health. So by the time Joshua found him, he had like maybe two shots worth of health left on him, and Joshua just shot him twice and he died. 
I was like, that is cool. So that's something to remember. If you guys are doing this and you haven't done it yet, um, in Fallout 4, when you get to the first big main city where you go to uh, meet up with some people and to get your first power armor, um, there's a death call that comes out of the road. Just run away and then let the raiders take care of them and then go look for them and find them and, and take them out. But the thing is, it doesn't always work because then you tried it and you were like, what the heck? He's still at almost full health. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Check him out. He's got a cool looking tail. I like the paint on him. I like the spikes along his back. Now this is the first, like a first version Deathclaw, because then the further into the game you get, the bigger they get, the meaner they get. They get like wings and stuff, I think, and all well, kinds of cool stuff. The second Deathclaw boss I've seen on YouTube and stuff is like, um, um, Death, like, um, can't remember it, um, it's like Savage, yeah, Savage Deathclaw, hmm. and he, and he's a beast. He has like... <sighs> His horns, instead of going like this, they're sticking straight up. In and the air. He has, he's, he's giant, he's bigger than that, and you have to fight him in a dark basement. Cool. Right on. So, I, when I watched that video, I was like, jeez, how is this guy going to beat him? Because you can't see him unless you turn on your pit boy. Yeah. Right on. So, those are the three we have? Yeah. Cool. I kind of want to get... Um, the regular ball boy without clothes. Mm, if we can find him. Yeah. Cool. Because he looks, he looks cooler like without it. Yeah. And the the ones on the back, um, I think the super mutant would be kind of neat if we could find. Yeah. Don't really care about the feral ghoul, but the super mutant looks like kind of cool. Kind of looks like a cross between uh, Drax and Ronan. Yeah, hmm. Interesting. Good. So, there we have it, guys. What did you guys think about the Fallout Pop unboxing? If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us one of these. Ding, ding, the thumbs up. Uh, share the comments down below and let us know uh, what your favorite is or what your favorite moments are in the Fallout game. That would be kind of cool. And also, smack that subscribe button. Yes, smack it. Smack the subscription button if you haven't already. It's down below there. Uh, if you are a first-time watcher, thank you for checking us out. We hope you enjoyed. Click the subscription button and join our Funky Bunch. If you have been a long-term subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And if you have not yet subscribed, what's keeping you back? Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just subscribe. And uh, we will catch you on the next installment of... Peace.